Now, fat, wait till right. But here's a quiz for you, right? Right, because you know, I I know you're a rap hill nigga, man. You feel oh, me, yeah, right? right. Exactly. I know you're a rap hill nigga. Oh. Man. Fresh and Kevin fit. Samuels too. Oh, oh come, no, come on, no, bro. No. He's the red pill nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I definitely don't agree with everything that he used no. to say. Or rest in peace. He's definitely, he's definitely a little strong. He'll be out of pocket. He will be out of pocket. Yo, I see. I ain't gonna lie, but sometimes he have a sliver. Too. Them is the people with different kind of perspectives on life. Right? Oh, oh wait, so you were actually like more so like you don't have a strong stance on let's say like Andrew Tate, but you are anti Kevin Samuels. I want to say, like. My, uh, like, okay, so in terms of going deeper into Kevin Samuels, I have to, too, right? Mm -hmm. But in terms of the things, like, let's say let's say I've seen enough of Kevin Samuels and I've seen enough of Andrew Tate at the same time. Two out of ten videos that I see of Tate, I'm like, ah, oh, it's kind of weird, you know, like, that's not, but it's more opinion-based. Like, five out of ten videos that I see of fucking Kevin Samuels is of him saying some shit where I'm just like, damn, or him talking to people, like, with no respect. Like, I him agree. just like, like, that shit's kind of wild. I think I remember seeing something about him saying, like, a woman should not wear a bonnet outside because, like, just, just some shit. And, like, and it's, I just remember seeing, yeah, I'd have to go over it to wild. really, because I don't want to quote none or say none that's wrong, yeah. but it was just it was just definitely something I definitely did not approve of. Here, yeah, right, so, so uh, okay, so for that comment, I think, like, and he said his mission, right, was to pretty much to improve the black family structure and to bring back black men and black women and have us like because like i think like there's a wild like stat like in like the 1960s right like 80 percent of like black like of the black family homes were married now it's like 24 percent, right so like Lord. It, it, but back then though like females sort of needed us to, yeah i'm about to say women me, women I, I literally just had this conversation yeah. we kind of like needed y'all like we couldn't we couldn't go nowhere, even if y'all did cheat on. I feel like people still got cheated on, people still got beat on, all that kind of stuff it's back that, in them day. But like, literally. what were you gonna do? Like, you couldn't yeah. provide for yourself or your kids. Not nah, facts though. Hey, do you feel though, like I guess like the high value man thing is a thing? Like a man being a high value man. Yeah. I like the idea of it because I feel like I, I definitely do. Like, you know, it's funny because men always think or okay. I'll just say this is my experience. Men will say things like, oh, I'm a guy. I could get away with doing shit like this. And yeah. that's perfectly fine. But in my book, if you just do it too much and you wilding out and, you you know, your regular Friday night is a threesome, like, I'd be like, damn, like, you was, you was kind of a ho-ho. Like, you, 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 you got more room to do different shit, right? Like, I'm not going to look at you just the same. But at the same time, if you just out here wilding, you got no standards, like, you just fuck anything, like, I'm like, look, that may work for you with other people. But for me, my standards, like, you at least got to have, like, more standards. So I feel like the high value men, I like the idea of a guy thinking of themselves as more, because mm -hmm. um, I think men just think they could get away with anything. But I don't like how they think that they can, like, it's like if you are a high value man, you can still do whatever the fuck you want to do. Because that's the fresh and fit guy. Like, I've seen a lot of stuff on there. Yo. That's some weird <laughs> shit. That, that thing is yeah. weird as fuck. Like, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Do you think uh, fresh and fit is weird? I think he's weird because of the way that he talks to women. Which one? Myron um, or, or, or Fresh? The one with the bald head. The, like, the, 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 the hairline. He got, like, <laughs> yo, listen, though. Like, listen, though. You got to fight for real, bro. Come Our on. boy went to Turkey, I think, or somewhere, mm -hmm. and, and got, like, his stuff patched up now. Man. You feel oh, me? really? Yeah, yeah, you feel me? Hey, listen, man. Hey, feel me? Hey, listen, hey, listen not Baltimore. Okay, but I, now, why do you think they're weird? Because I think it's, like, a few months ago, man, the shade room did, like, a hit piece on them. Like, mm -hmm. but they went hard on them. Right? So, like, why do you think... Like they're weird. Um, man, I would, you know, I wish I would have studied up so I could tell, cause like I remember stuff and I, I know how I now thought of did, it when I did see it, but here, yeah, right? So they did kind of, I guess, go viral. So there was like a. Snippet. What about the no cheating thing? Like, the women, women can't cheat, but men can, or something like that. That and and like don't date black women. And and like the women that they invite, like I've seen a couple women before try to speak their mind, and they just over talk them. Like like I don't like people who don't show respect to other people. Like and even then, Andrew Tate kind of be on the lines of like over talking people, but he will sit there and let you talk. And it seems like like I've seen a, a good amount of stuff where I mean he he probably got some videos out there where he don't let you talk, but mm -hmm. I've seen a good amount of videos where he has. But I feel like ev almost every fresh and fit, and I've even gone to like the the like podcast where you can watch the whole thing, yeah. and it just seems like. It just seems like men that just like I don't know they, they just not. Get a right. setup. Like yeah, like setup. Like it seems like like a lot. I've watched too many videos where they invite women on there, and it seems like a setup. Like it seems like they purpose like damn there was just to like embarrass them. Attacking, pressing, and like attacking, yeah. oppressing, going off of so that's your view. Them niggas got views, but you can't respect other people's views. Uh, do you think it's cause though like they're I guess like armed with a lot of knowledge? Cause cause again I love fresh and fit. That's my nigga. <laughs> right right. 
is like they're armed with a lot of knowledge, but, but not too many women can, I guess, talk and articulate, right? Like you. Like, so now they're like going into the lions then with like these men who <laughs> like know a bunch of like information and stats. And they're just speaking from like, you know, like just like a common sense perspective. But, like, they don't really know how to, I guess, put it in words. So now these men are out here destroying them. So right? their delivery's you, off. You yeah. know what I would say, bro? It's like, they, like I said, they're really intelligent and mm-hmm. all that. Like, any woman that goes in that show just has to come in there prepared and know that. And if you're not coming on there prepared and knowing that, then that's almost like your own downfall. Yeah. Right. But, the, but I mean, that's that's in terms of knowledge. It's still not how you speak to people. Like, I just wouldn't I just wouldn't speak to somebody like that. Like, the way that they be getting it, like, I, and that might be something that they do just so that they can get clout off the videos so that they can go out so they can get viral, whatever. But, like, I just see I just see so many people just get disrespected. Like, disrespect is a whole different thing to me. Like, if you just start disrespecting me off of some shit or, like, whatever it is, like, I just feel like... And then I, I think I've even seen some stuff about fat women on there, which is, like, I understand, like... Um, <laughs> Like they, they, their their viewpoints on the fact that yeah. I, it was something like if if being fat's okay, why don't you try to achieve to be fat? That's and, true. Um, and that I feel like there's a point in that, but I mean, I guess we're getting back to what you said about delivery. Yeah. It's just like, why does it sound like it's hateful? Yes, like why does it sound like it's hateful? Like you can like you can be healthy and big. However, even if you were smaller, like you like that that would be better. So like you know, there's less health problems. But mm-hmm. like, I don't just be like. Let's let's just bash on fat people right now. Like like I I don't think that way. I don't promote it that way. I don't try to get across that point. If that's what you want to do in your life and be that, like who who's concerned of me? Like I'm gonna be like regular, so I'm gonna do what I want to do. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500k. Yeah.